Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I couldn't record videos yesterday or day before yesterday. I had really bad mouth ulcers. I've still got some but I can talk or I can manage manage it quite well. I've got Bonjala on so it numbs it out quite a bit. So today as usual I'm gonna do no McDonald's. Uh, he's one bit he did for coronavirus. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I, I wasn't going to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> Elephant in the room. But on the way here, I got really ill. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it was because I ate a cherry pie. Like, I got a cherry pie from Bristol Farms, and I ate it, and then the car was going weird, and I was like, oh. And then I turned, we, he turned on the radio, Jeremy. And then all the fucking news was like, the guy was like, uh, well, there's uh, been so far 11 cases, 50, <laughs> 200. <laughs> I don't feel good. You know, you're like, oh, <laughs> this is not good. I feel like you know, I'm in a fucking middle of a Stephen King novel or something. <laughs> what is like a horror thing? movie. Uh, so my plan is just to not die. You know, survive long enough where uh, they find a cure. You know, some people will have to die. <laughs> but finally oh, they'll find a cure this for is... me. <laughs> and then I'll thank all It's funny how Big Farm is so evil till now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, was it $200 a pill? Yeah, that's good. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> Give me all you got. <laughs> but uh, and now I'm sniffling. and I don't know what that is. Could be the cocaine, I guess. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this goddamn... So I take cocaine, you know, <laughs> and then that makes the anxiety even more crippling. <laughs> it's funny that we all now know how we're going to die. He knew at that time, didn't he? It's just a matter of what order at this point. I went to the Costco and the fucking everybody trying to buy shit and everything. Like the end of the world. True. And I'm like, hey, anything? And they go, you gotta make nuts. yours. And I'm like, I don't know how to make Purell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't touch my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the good old days when washing your hands didn't take three hours? <laughs> <laughs> Just take me now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the mind never wanders too far from, you know. Like I'll be talking about all kinds of horse shit up here tonight, but every moment I'll be thinking of this disease. <laughs> Just to let you know. The corona didn't take it. That's a good thing. A little bit more. <laughs> uh, but it comes at a good time, this uh, where we're all quarantined because we know how to live like that, right? We got our fucking magic phones and computers and everything. We don't need no fucking people. Yeah. It was the last step between us and happiness anyway. We're people. Got the TV and shit. <laughs> fucking more interesting people than anybody I know. Which <laughs> so, is the fucking first take. And spend my last moments on Earth with Max Kellerman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn, I can taste the baby laxative in this fucking cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling down the back of my throat. God damn.
But I'm old anyway, uh, you know, so if I die, it won't be as much of a tragedy. I'm uh, no, man. 68 years young, I like to say. It's a, it is, a, it was a tragedy. It still is a tragedy. Yeah. You get old and you start worrying anyway, you know. Forget the coronavirus, like that's possible. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to mention it. I, you know, I was, I was tired of the manager. He's like, nobody wants to hear about the fucking coronavirus. They come here to not hear about the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> but it was a good idea you made. It was a good choice tonight to come out and sit beside total strangers. <laughs> <laughs> At least I might be here. I could run, you know. <laughs> At least I can flee when I see it. So, that was No McDonald on Coronavirus. And I believe it is quite recent. I'll say sometime maybe earlier in the year. April, May, sometime, sometime around that. Because it does seem quite recent. Uh, or maybe... I don't think they were doing stand-up uh, clubs like this last year, so I think it is earlier this year. And when he said, I'm old and it won't be much of a tragedy, and I was just like, nah, man, it is absolute tragedy. It is tragic that you are not here with us, but it is bittersweet because he's talking about coronavirus, and he didn't die of coronavirus, actually. He died of cancer. So, thanks fuck for that. It wasn't corona. But he died literally straight after the pandemic ended. But still, man, this was still funny. Even though there was some, as I mentioned, some uh, uncomfortable moment talking about that. And coming out of his own mouth. And he's not with us. But I still enjoyed it. I That's the thing. I don't know what sort of topics he's going to be talking about. Because, I've, as I mentioned before, I haven't seen any of his stuff. But I still enjoyed it, I, as I mentioned. I hope you did too. If you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.